Hey, welcome to Hostify. My name's Alex, and today we're going to look at the Starlink dish. This has been out for a little while now, so it's not exactly a new thing, uh, but here in the UK, uh, SpaceX are doing a special deal where you can get the Starlink dish for just £99 up front, and then £75 a month if you're using a fixed address. So I purchased this a few days ago, it arrived along with the Ethernet adapter. Um, usually the, the Starlink dish in the UK is £460 up front, um, but they're doing a special deal for rural areas where you can get, get it for just £99. If you want the mobile plan so you can sort of pause the plan and re, like renew it when you go on, that's £300 up front. Um, but I wasn't, so when, when I purchased it, I wasn't entirely sure if I could actually change my plan based on that deal. But I went in and changed the service plan and now paying £85 a month um, for the plan. I can pause it, cancel it, transfer it if I need to, which is great. So it's, it's a really accessible way to get good broadband. Um, to rural areas of the parts of your country. So what we're going to do is unbox the Starlink dish, see what comes in it, how to wire it up, and do some initial speed tests as well. So I've got the Starlink dish, uh, I've got it in the box, I've got a UK uh, extension lead so I can power it up, but we're going to have a look and see what comes in the box. So first thing you have is this bit of cardboard, so it's a Starlink on the front, take that out. So we've got the mounting hardware there, a uh, bit of cardboard on there as well, so we'll take that off. And we've got the Starlink dish itself, so that's pretty bright in the sunlight. It's got like a nice sort of cardboardy material on the back. Got the pole mount there with some uh, buttons to reduce, to release it and they fix cable. So we'll put that in the mount in a second. Got the mount there, we'll put that in the mount. Not sure if there's a specific way to do it and there is. <laughs> there's a little nub in to click and that goes in there quite nicely. So we've got the Starlink router as well. And we've got the mains power socket. And we've also got the socket to link to the dish itself, so we'll plug that in just now. So you get this proprietary socket, um, just, a, just a clover leaf thing, um, so you can power it with anything you want, but it's, it does make a nice seal with the, with the device, so we'll plug that in. So it's got like a nice rubber seal. We'll plug that into the mains power. So the, the router should be powered on, there aren't any lights to say, it, to say it's powered on, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. So the next thing is to put the long cable the other end into the into the router on the bottom of the router so we'll plug that in now so the next thing to do is connect to the starlink wi-fi network this router's outputting so finally the dish has now turned itself on took a little while to get to get going there wasn't too sure it's actually going to work but it's doing its thing now so i'm going to move this away a little bit in a second once we've got our wi-fi connected so we're given a, a captive portal connect to connect to. So I'm gonna choose Starlink as my Wi-Fi name and password as my password. So it says, join that network. Uh, so we're gonna do that now, press cancel. So in a second, we should see the Starlink SSID pop up. So we've got Starlink with a password. So we're now connected to this Starlink uh, SSID. So I've got the Starlink app on my phone. We'll see what we get. So it says, find install location. So what should I do that now? So it says, uh, we'll allow once for that. So it says, select your Starlink, we'll press confirm. Find an open area and scan the entire sky, it says, so I'm ready. So I'm just gonna do that now. So it says, point your camera up. So it says, scan the entire sky. View results. So it says estimated obstructions, it's gonna run through that now. So it's, it's working out what stuff's in the way. So it's telling me this is a great place for the Starlink dish. Um, so we say set up Starlink here. Starlink connected. So it's gonna calibrate the connection now. I've got two devices connected, it's probably my watch and my phone. So it says network performance is stabilized after 15 minutes. So it says we're online, so I'm gonna go and run a speed test once it's finished downloading an update. So I've got my Starlink dish connected up now. Uh, it's online, it's connected. I've run a few speed tests initially to check what sort of speed we're getting. I'm just gonna run one live now while we're, while we're just filming. I've got speedtest.net open now, as you can see. I'm just gonna run a quick speed test. So the router's just over there, about one or two meters away. So it says, ping's a little bit high. I'm gonna get out of the way of it a little bit. The download's about 83, 81. I was getting about 200 earlier. Um, there we go, it's sort of ramping up a little bit now, so I'm getting 130, 140, 150, 160, there we go. 
sort of near, near enough near enough 200 megs. The upload is a little bit disappointing. Um, there isn't a tree. There's a tree just over there, uh, so it's not in the way particularly. But the upload's a little bit lower than I'd like it to be. Um, it might be that I test it in an open field at some stage, and I'll get a better result. But that's pretty pretty decent. The fact I haven't re-optimized it that well. I've just stuck it up in a, in a field as a hedge. So I'd say that's pretty decent. Uh, I'm going to run one more test just to see. I'm going to get out of the way of it a little bit. See, it sort of ramped up right quickly there. So 200, 203. That's pretty decent. That is on Wi-Fi. Eh? We, have got a, we are going to uh, publish a video coming soon that's going to go over how to set the Starlink up with Unify. So you can actually put the Starlink dish in what's called bypass mode. Oh, there you go, the upload, the upload is quite good now, so 15, 15 meg. Uh, you can put the Starlink dish into what's called bypass mode. So that means it will disable the routing functionality of the Starlink router, disable the NAT, and you'll get a, a public, well, well, not a public IP address, but you'll get a, a WAN IP address, a carrier grade NAT IP address from Starlink themselves, from this device, or probably from the satellites. Um, and you can plug that straight into Unify network and get, um, I don't have to bother with the, the Starlink router, which is pretty good. There is a plan, which I'll show on screen in a minute, um, on the on the computer, that you can get a public IP address from, from Starlink now, which is quite good. You have to pay for the priority plans with the, the uh, higher data caps. Um, but it's it's that's pretty good, because that was one of the main complaints about the Starlink dish, that you couldn't get a public IP address. So things like VPNs and VoIP services don't send, tend to work very well on Caragrade NAT. So it's, that's pretty good that Starlink are doing that now. But that's been a that's been a look at the Starlink dish. I know it's a bit a little bit late coming, but there's that offer in the UK which was hard to pass up on. Um, it's hard to pass up on the fact that it was such a good deal and the fact that you can change the service plan. If you've got any questions about Starlink, let us know in the comments down below. Um, but if you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at our website, follow us on Twitter, and we do Unify hosting, UISP hosting, and Amada hosting. You can contact the team for any support and queries at support at hostify.com. And let us know, what do you think about the Starlink dish? Let us know in the comments. I think it's a pretty good deal um, for customers in the UK to get access to good broadband uh, in rural areas. I'm not going to be using it full time for my network. I've got a connection from WISP, um, which I documented before on the, on the Hostify blog. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use it as a temporary solution when I go camping or in a, a motorhome. Um, occasionally, that's going to be quite a good use case for it. The fact I can cancel it, which is quite good. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you again next time for a Hostify video. Thank you.